In this video, we're going to show how to upgrade your Design Era hotfix from version 11 to version 15. So you might have, might have an 11 CD and found out you're eligible for an upgrade. You might have purchased an upgrade. Um, so, or this might be the first time you're installing and you've got a version 15. So we'll go through it step by step. It's not too hard to do, but it's important that you follow the instructions correctly to make sure that it installs right the first time. So let's get going. Um, so you should take out, you should have your Design Era CD, the instruction booklet, and your product ID card, which includes your serial, your B code, and your W code. And that's the information we're going to need to upgrade. So we're going to visit d-era.com slash services. And that's going to bring us to this page. You've probably recognized this if you've installed it before. Make sure that you've got your dongle, um, as uh, shown here, plugged into your computer so you can go ahead and move forward. Now I'm going to uh, do a fake key here first for the sake of the video, and then you'll see it, the video skip for a moment as I enter in the actual serial code. Uh, it is important that you keep that information safe and secure because uh, that uh, that is your property right there is that serial code. Um, in entering the B and the uh, W codes, if it's in uppercase, make sure you use uppercase and make sure you use the exact numbers that are there. So uh, let's go through. I'm going to type those in. Then I'm going to hit login, and you'll see what happens when we get to the next page. Okay, so we've gotten to the next page after entering in the information, and you're going to see two things that we need to do here. Uh, download Design Era version 15, and download your system password. So we're going to need both of these files to be downloaded. You'll also see the other versions here. Um, if you have version 11 on a disk, and that's the version you want to use, then this video still applies. Make sure you click 11 and download your system password there. If you're upgrading the 15, then you want to download both of these. So you simply click open here, and there's an installation guide, and installation files. So download the files, and we're going to save that, and download the guide. This is great. This is the uh, new version of the instruction booklet. And you can click if if you're using Firefox, it's going to look similar to this. You'll you'll see it's some whatever browser you're using on the top right, you're going to see a download button where you can save this installation guide. And this is going to be your step-by-step -step instructions in addition to this video right here. So I'm going to leave this up. Um, so getting your your installation password file, that's what we're doing right now. So we're going to go to download, open here, download password. So now we're downloading the files. We've downloaded the guide already and we've got our password. Um, here's where they instruct you about the, the different codes and how to uh, uh, how to enter those in. Um, here are specific instructions about universal your, uh, users or older versions. Um, so one thing that it talks about right here is please uninstall older versions before installing the new version. Remember to back up all your components, fonts, um, and in order to uninstall former versions of, and this one's specifically saying their stitch era, but um, you go to start, configure, control panel, and add, remove programs. So start, control panel, uninstall a program. And it's under... Design era. There we go. Uninstall. And what I recommend doing it in this order that we're watching here in the video. So hopefully you're following along. But uh, the reason is is that version 15 is going to take a few minutes to download. So while it's downloading, uh, you start that first and let it go um, while you're doing everything else. So do you want to completely remove the selection and all of its features? Okay. And this will take a couple moments. So while this is going, I will um, I can close this out. We no longer need that, and we'll leave this up here. So um, 
we're going through the un uninstall process. So next we're going to insert your dongle key. It looks similar to this, might be a different color, but that's what it is. Um, you'll see your serial number on the back. If you have the CD-ROM, you're going to plug in the CD-ROM, but we're talking about an upgrade specifically, so we loaded the file. So we're going to wait for this to download, and after it finishes downloading, I'm going to catch back up with you, and we're going to open up the file where we downloaded it to and go through the rest of the installation process. Uh, and this, you'll see your... Um, so this is almost done. We'll hang out a moment. Okay, uninstall complete, and click finish. Now that's done, so I'm going to wait for my download to finish, and we're going to catch back up in a minute. So now we've got our downloader downloaded, uh, we've got the installation guys, installation guide saved, and we've got our password file saved. Now you want to make sure that when you're saving, uh, you know what folder you're putting it into. I put it into this Hotfix V15 folder. Uh, if you're using Firefox or uh, Chrome, uh, or any browser, usually in the top right, if you, you'll you have up, up in here um, where your downloads are going to. Um, usually you'll see the download file and you can typically right click on it um, and choose, you know, uh, open containing folder or something to that effect. So, so you want to get to the file that you've uh, recently downloaded. So here we are. And now we're going to open up the downloader. Um, so actually what we've done is we've only downloaded the file that will start the process of actually getting the software for us. So I'm going to um, move this into the same folder. So where's my brush and bake folder, my hotfix version 15, and now I'm going to hit start. And this is going to take a few minutes as well. Um, let's see here. They're estimating uh, 20 minutes. It, the, that's going to move down pretty quickly um, because I've downloaded this before. So once it gets started and it gets into it, uh, then you'll be ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and let this finish, and then you and I will catch up in a few minutes. Okay, so this download is wrapping up right now. And we're going to start the installation by clicking install. All right, your computer might ask you if you have permission to do that. You hit yes, you may or may not need to enter a password depending on your security settings. So move through there so you can get to the preparing setup screen. Welcome to the wizard. The install shield will, uh, it's going to move us through our design area installation. Click next. Um, so this this uh, here, just read this. This talks about disabling any antivirus programs if you need to, or any firewall programs. Sometimes that can block the installation of the software. Um, so you click next here. And then now it's going to ask us what we've got. We've got Hotfix Error Tools, because this video is specifically for Hotfix that we're talking about. We've got a Hotfix dongle. So that is plugged into the computer from earlier. And let's move this here. Okay, now it's going to ask us for the password file. This is the one we downloaded earlier, so we're going to click the load button. And I'm going to go into back to where I was before, documents, my brush and bake folder, 15, and here's our password file, the one we downloaded from before. And we'll click open. And that'll take just a second, and then we'll click next. And if I did it right, it's going to move us to uh, installing it. So. I generally will just install in the default folder, um, but you can browse and move and install the software wherever you'd like. Click Next. Um, again, this is going to add uh, the software here, so click Yes. Do you want to create a desktop shortcut? I'm going to say no, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's up to you if you want it on the desktop or not. All right, and uh, this is here is basically just saying what it's installing. Next. And now it's going to configure the installation. This will just take a, a couple minutes. So this is a time to just sit back and wait for it to say that it's finished. So um, I'm going to out here and let's see how long it takes.
Okay, so now you'll might see a little message that says uh, registering components or something like that pop up. Um, and this will just take a couple moments for this to finish up. So. So what you'll what you may or may not see not on my screen here because it's kind of in the corner out of view, but you'll see registering components, updating tables, uh, a couple things like that in your installation wizard. So as you can see down, um, uh, that the design error setup is still running. So just uh, continue to hang on. Here we go. Now the setup is coming up where it's going to start installing the rest of the components. Complete. Click Finish. And now I'm going to open up our new hotfix era. You've read the license agreement. You can click Don't Ask Me Again. Uh, click on the license agreement. It'll open it up so you can read that. Uh, basically saying that you know this is your software and software for your business and nobody else. Uh, so I accept it. Now the first time that you open this up, it's going to be configuring the software. So just be patient that it might take a minute or so to open up. But once we're in there, we're going to be live and ready to use our hotfix era. So uh, stick around and check out some, uh, some new videos that are going to come out showing how to use the software, how to send it to your cutter, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So thanks a lot, and we will talk to you again soon.